proper timing setup for a 2.0 EcoBoost Ford engine made forever after 2010 you need a special timing tool kit this is fit for uh, Range Rovers, uh, Ford Edge and all kinds of 2.0 uh, turbo and a couple of other things says before you put it back to the oil pan see on the bottom this is a balancer assembly okay the two pins is straight down and the crankshaft over there they have a flat surface over there here have a hole this one you put it in this kind of pin this one turn it in it's go there okay that's hold it but it didn't hold it very tight because on one way they can turn it so here need the other thing yeah like this you put in here okay hold the flywheel but you need to set up for the correct one let's make sure for the one way it's not moving moving the other way but it's not moving and tie this bolt okay and here is the other two bolts just hold it this one on place like so yeah make sure the crankshaft is to move so when you tie this tie this tie this the crankshaft is did they move it is now moving anywhere that's lock the crankshaft second you need to lock the camshaft that one require this special tool okay and this one needs to be sliding here I will show you how there you go that's very tight don't forget to look down because this one is like to freaking came in out so just look down that locker this one here so here is see that pins that one is over there that one is over there that one is over there this is part one you can start putting back to the oil pan and the other things okay this is our part two here is a uh, front of the engine still everything on time you know that 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 one that one that one look it and that one look it and here is a gear so here is a one thing you need to check that because some of them have shims behind the gear okay some of them didn't so you see that shim it's have a special surface if you see that okay so that one you put it on and the gear you put the gear so first to go to the shim I don't mind the one hand so first go to the shim and the gear for the tiny ones is go inside because that is drive to the oil pump so that's that's free spinning it's not keeping so here is the oil pump gear uh, you cannot mess it up because they not rounded you see that they, they have this and inside the gear you know have that so you you can install that just only one way yeah okay it doesn't matter how they say this is not sensitive ah. you don't need to line up this just how is the personal preferences here here goes the bolt this goes in uh, I don't know yet the torx pad but just first just hand tight until I assembly the the 
the full timing but actually the correct way to install this uh, hanging up the new chain and you just slide it over there it stays on place there it is because that is free spinning and grab the bolt and tight and after that you just install the stupid spring loaded uh, tensioner here but it's a two hand like that see yeah the spring is just socket over there so this is not too tight so this is how we do on Ford Edge. A QQ is just drop off the other engine. That's my problem is. Valve cover is broken. I need to replace it. Okay. Wiring corners. And the main problem is this one have 110,000 miles. So probably hold the same freaking problem. Ah, oh, you never know. You never know. Still this, dealing with this. So... Here is was the old one, you know, that is broken. Here is a new new one for 200 something dollars from Range Rover. But also it's made by Ford. You see over there, Ford Motor Company from Oco. So the four bolt, that is an intake side. Okay, I need a washer over there on the back to hold the bolt. And this one don't have a decorative position. Just, you just snag it in and just uh, hand tied same thing on the exhaust that one have only three bolts here in the front you know and just check this same thing as a good okay so that is just snugged in uh here we go and just hand tied it all the way in so and you just wrap around to the the chain after that make sure the connection pin it's uh, just facing out on the front of the engine otherwise it's no special direction to installing the chain so actually it doesn't matter it just uh, you put it on here it's everything fit inside here and here too it's very loose so let's go to the next step so here we go that is a chain guide one of them is a surface uh, flat other one is uh, step down so that is a step down the flat surface go inside here okay that one and uh, have uh, special bolts over there all the there and there like so so this one like what it look like and you just slide it there here just a uh, hand tied here and the other one is coming over there you just put it there yeah and uh, you can torque that down as a uh, seven millimeter so actually not too much more than hand tight the side coming the other one but it's not biggie here is the pin that slides in there there you go and that one here and here is coming the tensioner but before that we need to do something so here is coming the, the tensioner and don't forget this filter here it slides in here this is a turbo feed line it slides in here okay don't lose it don't lose it so this is how it's supposed to be look like okay I'm done but you always need to pay attention that is there okay so right now they install the freaking uh, tensioner and here is a new tensioner you put in here oh, fuck. Shit. here you go bolt is falling down so one bolt there here other one is just falling down there you go i find it so that's there 
Okay. Yeah, it is tight. So, you try this, and <clears throat> you think you are done. You know, you are not. Because you are able to turn this one anywhere without turning the camshaft or crankshaft. So, you are not done yet show you very important thing is that is with the balancer assembly here okay so you need to memorize that pins that pins is downside when is the engine is at top of the center so fit there that down and that tool it's in too let me show you why because here this is the factory direction okay this is from the factory okay it tells you how you need to set up how they need to be go and let's tell you the reason why because have on YouTube for some Chinese videos it shows you the wrong one that's no good no good okay the correct one is this one okay this one don't mess up because your engine is shaking like oh shit okay so timing tools is still in okay so here is a that locker there is that tool okay there is that tool okay and uh, right now we need to install the oil pan that is over there oh, shit. so let's install that the pan is on right now so time to tie this one and this one but first we need to pull it out the tensioner there you go okay the little pin save for the next time and when is that one is done you know it's everything's good you need to hold it here put a 24 and this one is 75 newton meter there you go 75 newton meter okay but that one is required a little bit of job so that's it this one 70 75 newton meter and also 75 newton meter okay when is that one is done still the timing tools is in all of them okay it's nothing different so time to install the timing cover here so when you ready install the timing cover look at that you're not able to tie this so before that you need to tie tie this so you install the timing cover Ah, uh, that's very important when you disassemble to the engine. It's where is the shims. So you remember the timing gear uh, on the crankshaft. I was uh, the mic engine was behind them, the one shim, and was ahead of them, the other shim. So I just uh, put it here. And uh, right now it's coming. I need to put it on the balancer. Uh, or crankshaft pulley there you go that one see the spray spinning but the engine not spinning because it's no keeping so time to install the other tool right now which is this with this so need this uh, put in here oh no yeah here there you go that and I need this one too so this is how it look like you came on the front of the engine and you see and you know, up to the small pin big pin you know for this kind of tool they have a pins so put there to there and that one need to be somewhere there but you need to you hear it there 
okay let's make sure it's everything in place and just put the bolt in it here so that's hilarious hilarious is stupid right now time to go into the to the the bolt the crankshaft bolt there you go there's this and just put them in I said put them in there we go it's a 21 mil okay but before we tie this we need the other two which is this the crankshaft position sensor alignment tool there is a crankshaft position sensor and this one is this this is how it look like the crankshaft position sensor and this one it slides slides on I just try to do that here you go you see this is how it look like the alignment tool and right now you put it on here it's hook up with the tits over there see that is how alignment to this that's fit on only one position so we need to write uh, over there put the bolts so like that so actually this one is need to be tied 95 uh, newton meter wait a minute I'm double check there it is so the stage first uh, 100 newton meter and 90 degrees so 100 newton meter and 90 degrees so why is this engine is so ridiculous it's so ridiculous even more, more worse than the BMW engine because we need one two three four and here is this six special tool to do a freaking alignment on this engine and this engine is poorly engineered and it's a crap so I do not recommend to do that this one home but if you need to do that good luck it's require approximately 30 hour job uh, I do not recommend to do that so see you guys in the next one.